Sabina Mazzo versus Shauna Dobson. Sabina Mazzo, she was a plus 100 at the beginning of the week, and I uh, I thought she would become the favorite. She's gold medalist at the Abu Dhabi Trials Jiu-Jitsu. Um, Jiu-Jitsu champion, boxing champion, Muay Thai champion. Um, her last decision, the girl just held her up against the fence and clinched with her. And uh, just won a decision just stopping her from striking. Now, Shauna Dobson's a brawler, so she's going to start striking with Sabina. She probably thinks she can knock her out. But um, Sabina's got amazing footwork. Like, uh, she's, like, super technical. And uh, that head kick's there for her all day because of those long legs. Shauna's going to come in heavy in the first round. She might try to clinch with her. Just throw her weight around a bit, but she tires out a lot when she does that. She comes back in the second round, and she's just not as fast, not as powerful. Um, she got pieced up by Lauren Mueller. Lauren Mueller utilized great footwork against her and was just outpointing her, and even rocked her a couple times. She also got beat by Roxanne Matafari, got knocked out by Roxanne. Um, I mean, she might try to take Sabina down, but she's not. She only panic wrestled when Lauren Mueller had her hurt. She tried to go for a takedown. She wasn't that good, wasn't that technical, I didn't think. But uh, Sabrina mazzo has got really good takedown defense, and she's got those long, long legs, great striking. If she could keep Do Dobson sorry, on the outside and pick her apart, she might be able to outpoint her. But I think she might. TKO Shauna because uh, her te her technical footwork is just amazing and she's just going to piece her up Dawson's going to come out like I said strong um, Mazzo's just got that champion mindset that just like she, I think she's going to correct what she did wrong in her last fight which is get out of that clinch but um, yeah I got to beat a Mazzo in this Shauna Dobson, you know, she's got heavy hands. She knocked out uh, a chick she fought, Caitlin Gleck or something like that, Gleck, uh, the ultimate fighter. But, um, I mean, Mazzo's got, Gleck also had a six-inch differential reach. So she had a 62-inch reach, and Dobson had a 69 and Spina's got a 70, and her legs are long as hell. Um, so I think either Sabina Mazzo decision, but I'm thinking a like a late, a late round uh, TKO for Sabina, like round two, end of round two, round three. Sabina TKO might be a good prop. It's gonna be a huge underdog. So, um, no. A finish because I think Dobson might try to drop uh, or she might drop Mazzo. Mazzo's got a great chin, great footwork. So she doesn't get dropped. I don't think she's ever been dropped, but uh, if she does, Dob she's got those long legs too. She could just swoop in a triangle choke right there. So I'm going to go finish late round. Um, maybe TKO too, but. I feel Shauna does panic wrestling like she did with Mueller. So Mazzo is going to get her hurt. And uh, Dobson's going to go in for the panic takedown, try to clinch her up. Mazzo might pull guard or just get a slick submission. And um, it could go either way submission or TKO, but probably t TKO is going to be way more favored. Um, so. Sabina Mazzo, plus 100 underdog. She was a plus 110 yesterday when I looked at it. She went back to plus 100. But uh, I like that Mazzo finish or just Mazzo money line. Or you could do TKO or a super risky one. What might pay out would be a submission. Mazzo submission. 
maybe round two or three. But yeah, I got Sabina Mazzo.